Hey everybody, I couldn't wait to see you again. I've missed you. I am Tenacious Tony and welcome to my table talk show, Tony's Tenacious Table Talk. I've got an intriguing guest for you today. And before I introduce her though, I wanna tell you this. A little bit over a month ago, my guest and I had a brief chat and we were actually at my church. We had a brief chat and in that chat within moments, I quickly knew that she was to be on my show. You're going to hear her story. And as a result of that chat, I knew what my, sh my show topic was going to be, which is what it is today. Restoration. Now, hold up. You're probably thinking, oh, I've heard about restoration before. This person, this preacher's talking about restoration. This, this small group is talking about restoration. Um, people are asking me to pray for them that this area of their lives become restored. But this is what I want you to know. Out of all the stories of journeys about restoration, I haven't heard one within the last six months to a year that reminded me of a Job-like experience. And having said that, let me introduce you to my guest. Tanika, I am so glad that you are in my studio today. I, I just reflect back on that talk that we had and it's all about you. Why don't you tell the viewers and the listeners let them in on what you shared with me about your journey. You went from real serious losses mm -hmm. in a whole lot of areas, but that's not where you are today. Amen. So bring us up to where you are today, but briefly just journey us through what God allowed to happen in your life. Just relax and talk about it. I got a testimony. Well, you know For what? sure. I it's, love Tenacious it's, Testimony. It's, 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 it's a testimony. Okay. So when my daughter, I have a 20-year-old daughter. Okay. Uh, she's a junior at Towson College awesome. University. And when she was five, I was with her dad for five years and we separated. Okay. We were never married. Okay. We had her out of wedlock. Mm -hmm. And when we separated, it was a lot going on. Okay. I was 31 years old with a five-year-old child, mm -hmm. and I was 86 pounds. My, my, my. I was so stressed. Mm -hmm. I had lost all that weight. Mm -hmm. I was skin and bones. Wow. Praise God, I'm 138 now. Hallelujah. Looking good. Okay. <laughs> Looking good. I love it. But the stress came from, it was a financial, financial woes. Wow. Okay. A lot of financial woes in that I was having to pull and do everything myself. Mm. I had 10 properties in Atlanta. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. You said what? 10 investment properties in Atlanta. Okay, D did y'all hear that? 10 investment properties in Atlanta, Georgia. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And so it had just so happened, it was like this perfect bubble mm -hmm. that when we started to split up mm -hmm. and the housing market changed, this was that 08, 09 crisis. Right. We can all remember that. Okay. And yes. so I had my primary residence in Columbia. And let me tell you, my primary residence was a 3,000 square foot home Come on. on almost an acre. Come on now. And at that time, again, I was 31. So I was doing something. Yes, you were. So I thought. <laughs> okay. So I thought. I hear you. I was doing something mm -hmm. to be that young, yes. to live in Howard County in yes. Columbia, to have a house like that. Mm. And I was losing it all. Wow. I was losing it all. Wow. Um, I lost the house. I lost the investment properties. Wow. I had I had to file bankruptcy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I had to start all over. You know, it's not often that that people talk about um, or share with other people mm -hmm. that they had to file bankruptcy or and and even to add to it, it's not often that people will admit that they thought. They had it going on. Mm -hmm. And you did. Mm -hmm. Rightfully so. Mm -hmm. You did. But not God's way. There you go. That's what I'm talking not about. And that's God's what you way. shared with me in that chat 
which just invoked me. It just fired me up. Anybody that knows me knows what excites me. And what excites me is getting into the lives of another person, especially when they're able to share with me that they've gone through a journey mm -hmm. that's taken them from point A, maybe at a low point, mm -hmm. and up to a point B and C, maybe even further, because I too can identify with that. Mm -hmm. So having said that, what, what caused it? What, what, where did it start? You don't have to get into everything, but what kinds of things lent themselves to your beginning to suffer um, financial devastation? Was it not enough money, um, mismanagement of monies, um, maybe, maybe what, do, what do they call it, uh, uh, being broke at a high <laughs> end, you're spending more than <laughs> And that's mismanagement, <laughs> but spending no, more than, than I had. Okay. Right. Definitely not mismanagement. Mm -hmm. um, I can earnestly say that I've always been a good management manager of money. Okay. Still today I am. Wonderful. It was just, I had this that needed to go out and I only had this coming in. Okay. And a part of that was my daughter's father uh -huh. wasn't contributing like he should have been. Okay. And I was having to pull all of the weight myself most okay. of the time. Managing your own home. Exactly. Managing the investment property. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't get the help that I needed for him. Wow. And it was stressful. Wow. Again, that's why I lost all the weight. Yeah. You know, all of this was just bones. Mm. Just bones. You can mm. you can see my rib cage. Wow. Uh, my hair was starting to come out. It was your hair it was so beautiful today. Thank you. You're and, and it was just a really stressful period for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't much so much a mismanagement of money. I just didn't have enough. It just wasn't enough. Not enough. And then the investment properties, you know, the values fell. Wow. I was underwater. So now I owe these mortgages, but I only have this much rent coming in. Mm-hmm. And so it just got to a point where I couldn't swim anymore. Okay. So to that point, what was your, that gutsy, uh, like self-talk girl, I got, I got to come up out of this. There's got to be a way up out of this. And I know knowing you, mm -hmm. I know that your way up mm -hmm. was looking up to mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. but just share Maybe some of the emotions, some of the feelings that you had that made you, you know, do that self-talk. And it's like, this has got to change. Well, you know, I come from a Christian background, okay. raised in a church. Okay. And, you know, sometimes we lose our way. That's right. You know, when we become, you know, young adults. Yes. But your foundation never leaves you. I believe that. I'm in agreement. And... You know, my grandmother would always, and my mom would mm -hmm. always say to me, you know, Nika, you're not living right. Mm. You know, how do you expect God to bless you when you're not living right? Wow. And so a part of that was starting to live right. Mm -hmm. And I knew I couldn't live right with him. I mm. knew he wasn't the man for me. Mm -hmm. you're, you're referring I'm to my, my daughter's father. Yes. You're, because uh -huh. he didn't, I didn't get the assistance that I needed from him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I knew that relationship needed to end. For so the two of you were not living together. We were living that, together. We were living at time, together at that time. But he wasn't pulling his weight. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was having to do everything. So you, you're soul searching. You felt right. like you needed to I make need, some decisions. Right. Even with regard to your relationship. Absolutely. I mean, so the decisions that were facing you, financial mm -hmm. decisions that needed to be made you they were affecting your personal life too absolutely you, wow. absolutely absolutely you revisit yourself. absolutely so we separated mm -hmm. and went our separate ways i stayed in the house uh and probably another year or two okay. after that mm -hmm. and eventually i just let I, I i had to file bankruptcy okay i put all that in bankruptcy mm -hmm. and i ended up doing a short sale on the house okay and on the home that you were living in. On the home I was living mm -hmm. in. And all of the investment properties I just included in bankruptcy and you just did. walked away okay. from all of that. Okay. And it was free. Okay. Because you don't, when you have financial woes, mm. sleeping at night ain't mm. easy. Been there. It's not easy. <laughs> not easy at all. Been there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was saddened. Because I had like an 800 credit score. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm never going to be able to get anything again. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to be anything again. Mm -hmm. But my identity was tied into Ooh. who I was Come on financially. Now. Say that again. Okay. Your identity. My identity was tied into who I was financially. You all see why I wanted to share. 
My sister girl with you. Go ahead, Tanika. When it should have been tied to who I am in Christ. In Christ. I was out of balance. Wow. Isn't that refreshing though? Mm -hmm. You know, and you, and you see, it puts a smile on my face mm -hmm. and I see the joy in you because not about me right now. You share with us how that knowledge uh, and being reminded of who you are in Christ has made you feel. Absolutely. I feel joyful over it. Absolutely. How does it make you feel? How did it make you feel? And how are you feeling today? At the time, it was still painful. Sure. Because, you know, when you're losing Pain everything, is real. It's, it's, it's not easy. Pain is real. But today, I rejoice. And I rejoice mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Thank you. I went through that walk mm -hmm. because now that's made me the woman I am today. <laughs> I love it. Because I lost it all. Mm -hmm. But because of the God I serve, yes. he restored it all. See what I mean? Plus some. Wow. Mm -hmm. See, and, 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 and Tanika, my sister, you just chatting with you was such a blessing for me because as I said, I talk to people all the time. It's who we are. It's what I do. Part of my calling. But to hear you talk about your journey, I knew it was a Job-like experience to lose everything, not just the physical things. The homes mm -hmm. and so forth. And the you were relationship. The relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that your daughter was impacted. Absolutely. By all these transitions and these changes and challenges, you know, in, in your life. That is amazing. And so, what would you, where are you today? What's happening? You said that God um, restored do, do you have more investment properties? Um, I'm sure you just didn't wake up and open up a box and all of a sudden it's like, oh, I'm out. I'm restored. It's, I'll, I'll refer to it as the restoration box. You didn't, you didn't come out of a restoration box and it's I like, did, I did I'm that. here. Right. So journey us up to... Your yeah, right your rest now. your restorative point right now, and you, and feel free to share some of the challenges, some of the other things that you you want to hone in on, and you'd like to share with people who are listening, okay? Because it's all about them. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, my current husband, him and I had been friends for a long time. We had met through. I actually worked for my mother. Previously, she has a temp agency, and we met through there and just stayed in touch. Okay. And so I reached out to him one evening, and we mm -hmm. went out to dinner, and it kind of went from there. Yes. And I remember this, certain things stick with you, Tony. They do. They do. I remember I had to move. Okay. And I prolonged it because I didn't want to move. I loved my house. Okay. And I remember he came over one day. And with boxes mm. and tape. I'm, I'm, I'm exhaling, <laughs> okay? Yeah. And I'm empathizing with yeah, you. And he, mm -hmm. and he was like, I'm going to help you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be here for you. I hear you, sister. And that, that really, mm. it spoke to me. Yeah, sure it did. You know? And... We just, we, we started, you know, continuing to go out and building and building and building. God blessed mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And sad to say, mm -hmm. we, we were living together mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. you know, before getting married. We're married now. Amen. Um, but. Congratulations. Thank you, You're God. Welcome. God, God blessed us. God blessed our union. He started to restore stuff in my life. Mm -hmm. We both are business owners. Good. I have a car independent car dealer. He mm -hmm. does permitting. Mm -hmm. I'm a licensed real estate agent. Look how God just yokes yes. people and up. That's yes. what I'm talking and, about. And, and he just built and built and built. Wow. And, you know, I ha I'm a homeowner again. Great. We have an investment property in Baltimore City, a three unit. Yes. Uh, financially secure and stable. Praise the Lord. Great credit awesome. between the two of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So everything that was Taken sounds from like, me. Sounds like you started climbing back to yes. the 800 score again. Absolutely. <laughs> God restored and then some. Mm. So I know that I serve a God of restoration. Mm. And you can be down in the valley. Yes. 
but there's always a mountaintop that you can achieve to, to, to get to. Wow. Wow. And you probably, first of all, before I even go into anything else, congratulations. Thank I'm, you. I'm, I'm, I'm real excited to hear about that journey. And I'm even more excited to be, to have you in my studio and to be sitting across from you with this type of share. This is what this platform is all about. I, my voice and my studio is to, to introduce to viewers and listeners this type of life uh, transformative talk um, testimony, hence a tenacious, tenacious testimony that people, number one, I'm not even going to even say you need to hear it. You want to hear it. Mm -hmm. You want to hear it because it propels you to take your next step in life or even to share it with somebody else on your job or in your community or in your family or in your church that, that could benefit, you know, from this. Now, I also, you shared something else with me in that chat. Mm -hmm. uh, you indicated to me um, several areas of, of, of passion that, that developed as a result of the journey. And I like, my sister, that you said you thank God. You weren't thanking him saying, oh, I'm so happy I lost everything. Mm -hmm. Who says that? Mm -hmm. But you did thank God for what came out of the journey. Absolutely. So just share a little bit around that. Just Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, rebuilding. So I've always been a advocate of credit, I guess, since I was in my mid-20s. Okay. I don't know what took me there or brung me there, but I, it's just something that I kind of gravitated to. Okay. And again, I had excellent credit. That's how I was able to obtain 10 investment properties. Seriously. So of course- At such a young age. Yeah. And so, of course, when you file bankruptcy, your credit score goes- you know, in the toilet pretty much. Mm -hmm. And I just rebuilt. And it's funny because when I got with my husband, mm -hmm. he didn't have bad credit. Mm -hmm. He had no credit. Okay. But as you know, no credit is the same as bad credit. So we both rebuilt at the same time. So as I'm rebuilding myself, I'm building him up. And I'm a firm believer. The Bible says two are better than one. Come on now. So I that, can attest. So that means... You need to have good credit as my spouse. Come on. Just like me. That's it. It's not advantageous for me to be up here. That's, oh, and girl. you to be down here. <laughs> that's not advantageous. He's still in this seat. Yeah, that's not advantageous. We both have to be equally yoked. Equally yoked. That's what it's about. Equally yoked. Mm, go ahead. And for like, so I have a passion to help young people. Okay. In addition to especially women, you know, women go through a lot. They, you know, divorce, abuse, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes being in jail mm -hmm. and, and men too, men but, too, but go ahead. Yeah, mm -hmm. men too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they need help. Mm -hmm. They need to know which direction they need to go down. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'd like to do, especially in the financial realm, as far as helping with their finances, saving, budgeting, credit. Mm -hmm. You know, I think a lot of people think, in order to have good credit, you need to make a lot. Ah, come you, on. You can make $20,000 a Thank year mm -hmm. and still have an 800 mm -hmm. credit score. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's how you manage what you okay. have, so not what you have. you're talking education. Absolutely, right education. Now. Financial. Absolutely. Education. I'm a firm believer of it because we're not taught, especially our people, mm -hmm. we're not taught that. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, generationally, you know, we don't know. We're not homeowners. That's right. Nobody teaches us what a credit score is. That's right. And unfortunately, we don't learn it in school. Wow. So at some point, it has to be an environment where we can learn that. Like this, this is a credit card. Yes. This is this is what this having a credit card means. Absolutely. What would you say about that? You 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 talk about it. You know, you have a credit card. This is the value on it. This is how it should be used. Mm -hmm. This is what you don't want to do with it. Is it? Am I on track? Absolutely. So my belief is it's better to have and not need the need and not have. I was just telling my daughter this last night. You never know when a storm is coming, when an emergency is coming. Wow. Your homeowner, mm -hmm. your, your, your furnace goes out. Uh -huh. It's $5,000 to fix. That's right. 
You don't have $5,000. This is real. Mm -hmm. But you have a credit card that has a $20,000 limit. Mm -hmm. You can put that $5,000 on there, mm -hmm. have your heat, mm -hmm. and pay that $5,000 mm -hmm. over time. Mm -hmm. And I hear, I know my husband often talks about since we've been married, he won't deal with any credit unless it's 0%. Absolutely. Interest. Well, how do you feel about that? I agree. Yeah. So the $5,000 example that I use, mm -hmm. let's say, because typically the 0% is from nine months to 18 months. Uh -huh. Okay. So On let's say uh -huh. in 12 months, uh -huh. you're not able to pay that $5,000 off. Right. If you get you another 0% credit card, you can transfer, let's say you got $1,000 left, transfer that $1,000 balance. Mm -hmm. To a new zero percent credit card. Come on, come on, come on. You'll pay a small fee to do so, mm. but now you have another twelve months to pay that thousand dollars down. Wow, this is excellent information. And I heard you when you said you're passionate about helping youth and young adults. I don't know if you've developed that platform yet or not, but but what's your vision? What does that look like? You know, would, will you do um, workshops for them? Will you come in and and um, speak to specific groups of youth and young young adults? And I'm thinking not just young adults; there are adults that need to hear about this. Yeah, you know, those are the some so sometimes we become. The 30 and the 40 and the 50, the 60, the 70 mm -hmm. year old. Mm -hmm. And we have the mindset that we have arrived. Right. And then you close the door mm -hmm. on learning more. Absolutely. There's something that I pride myself. I embrace it. I, I can't take responsibility for it, but I did embrace it and give some credence to it in my book. But it's by John Maxwell. He says in order to... To, to do more, you've got to become more. Absolutely. And in order to become more, you've got to do something about that. And for me, it's learning. Well, I'm learning from you right now. Awesome. Awesome. And that's what it's about. So, so back to the question, what would, what's your desire? You know, you, you want to come up with some, some classes. What do you want to do? You, you, you want to talk within your church about coming in and talking to the youth um, and the young adults. I know I'm retired, but I do a lot. Anybody that knows me always knows I want to stay busy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That The joy of the Lord is my strength. But I do a lot of substituting um, at a major high school uh, in the county. While I can go to any of them, I choose this particular one because I know that that's where I have the greatest um, effect. Gotcha. Not just on the students, but on the staff as well. You know, when you come in, you need to be making a difference. Mm -hmm. Saying that to say, there's an opportunity. Okay. So you can share, share with me, like, what do you want to do with all this information? Absolutely. So I would welcome that coming into a high school and, and speaking with the youth, okay. uh, a church group or what mm -hmm. have you, mm -hmm. uh, some halfway homes, Yeah. you know, because they really need it. And see, the thing with, with, I think with, you know, inmates and what have you, mm -hmm. you don't want them to go back into the same environment and do the same thing. That's right. You want them to make a change. That's right. And if they had the resources mm -hmm. where they could, you know, a lot of times they can't get jobs, mm -hmm. but they can start their own businesses. Mm -hmm. And if they knew what to do to get the resources mm -hmm. to start their own businesses, which you can do with credit. Yeah. They can make something of it, themselves. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That, that, that sounds like, um, I'm going to follow up with you absolutely on that and whatever I can do to support. And I'm, I'm sure that there's something significant that I can do to help move, move that forward because our, we're, you and I are equally yoked and we're passionate about helping to change people's lives. I know where I was, Tony, mm -hmm. and I know of some other people there. Oh, oh Yeah. Now, everybody, I, I believe that your tenacious testimony today mm -hmm. is, is, is helping to free somebody up. Amen. Because for, for various reasons, trust, lack of trust, low self-esteem, doubt, fear, all of that stuff. We don't, we don't want to share with people right. because we, we're afraid of what they're going to do with the information that we give them. Right. But you know what? When we are walking with the Lord, who cares what they choose to do with it? Because God has the final say. 
Amen. He's our covering and he holds all of us accountable for what he deposits in us. Let me stop this talking because you're the guest, but you have fired me up. And that's what it's all about. It's exciting. I'm glad that we are on equal uh, ground together. So do you have any investment properties in, in Howard County right now? Or in, in Howard, now you talked about the one in Baltimore City. No, nothing in Howard County. Okay. You know Howard County is expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Now, now I, I live do. in Howard County, uh-huh. but investments, no. Wow. But you know what? Mm-hmm. Who knows what the future holds? Oh, Tony. yeah. Keep believing. So I, I touch and I agree uh, with you on that. And you've shared a lot. You've journeyed us through um, having lost just about everything that Job like experienced, but like Job. What did you hold on to beginning with that F, that? My faith. Your faith. My faith. That's all I had. You know, that word turns me on. I love that. That's it. Amen. Faith is everything. But the Bible also says mm-hmm. faith without works Without is works. Dead. So get up and do something get about it. Get up and do something about it. Oh my goodness. You know what I want you to do? Take that beautiful face of yours. And I want you to look into that camera. And of course, you're not focused on the camera. Mm-hmm. I want you to tell the, the, the people behind that camera who, who you and I both know are, are climbing up a ladder mm-hmm. where they need, they, they're, they're, they're holding on. They want to be restored. You know, maybe they've taken some steps, but they need to be pulled up a little further. What two or three tips would you share with them from your heart? Just give them your heart. This is what I want you to do. And, and of course, if you desire, provide some of your contact information. Um, of course, I'm going to make it available um, on my webpage as well. Okay. But um, talk, just be Tanika, <laughs> beautiful <laughs> sister who has been restored and is being restored. restored. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Yeah. So... First and foremost, I would say develop a relationship with God if you don't have one, because God is our provider. He gives, I could do nothing without God. I wake up every morning, I have health, I have life, which enables me to do what I do, but it's all due to God. So first and foremost, your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I can say, especially as people of color, a lot of times we want to keep up with other people Mm. get that mindset out of your mind and that you got to drive a Lexus Mm. I know people that drive I know a person who drives a Mercedes and rents a room and he's been renting a room for 15 years Jesus so you have to get out that mindset Mm. of keeping up with the Joneses oh this person has this oh this person has that thirdly I would say a lot of people make good money, over six figures, wow. you know, two, two, two uh, person household or what have you. But everything that comes in, they spend. Okay. And I have this philosophy that it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. <laughs> and so you need to make sure that not only you have the income coming in, but you're also putting something away for a rainy day. Mm. And so... I do coaching, you know, as far as credit is concerning, concern, uh, budgeting, financial planning. Uh, I'm actually a Dave Ramsey financial coach. Excellent. Uh, so if, if you'd like to reach out to me, feel free. I also do help people with funding that want to start businesses. Get, provide your information, please. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm Tanika, and I can be reached at 240-460-2599. Repeat that again, please. 240-460-2599. And, and Tanika, would you give them your full name? I'd like for them to have your Absolutely. first and your last name. Tanika, last name is Gentry. G-E-N-T-R-Y. Is there an email or anything? Or if not, that's fine. My IG mm-hmm. is Progressive Life Enterprises. So you could also follow me on IG if you'd like. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. That is profound. Thank you so very, very much for just being so open and honest and available 
and willing to share you with me and to share you with thousands of other people who are seeking ways, even in this moment, to get up and to keep living, to get a message on trusting and knowing that they too, like you and like me, can be restored. It's an ongoing uh, process. You guys, I just want to thank you for this tenacious testimony uh, from uh, from listening to this tenacious testimony today from Tanika Gentry. And I want you to uh, contact her, make some things happen. And until next time, I want you to uh, be prepared for another segment of the show, Tony's Top 10 Tenacious Tips for Restoration. Here are Tony's Top 10 Tenacious Tips for Restoration. Following that interview, I hope you guys are ready. Tip number one, you need to set clear goals. Write down the exact financial and spiritual goals that you want to achieve. Then make a plan and get them done. Please don't be afraid. Tip number two, you got to practice gratitude. Focus on what you have instead of what you don't have. Because creating that kind of... I guess a culture of, of gratitude can shift you to where you need to be to remain on your track to promote financial and spiritual restoration. It's that simple. Tip number three, you need to seek guidance. Get with a professional that you can work with about your finances. It could be somebody that's already in your own personal uh, circle of influence and is passionate. Here's the key. They need to be passionate about seeing your financial restoration become achievable. So you want to align yourself with a professional. Tip number four, create, I love this, create your own encouragement circle. And what I mean by that is just build a community of supporters who want to see you achieve what it is that you've set as a goal of restoration in your life for your finances and for your spiritual life. And especially when you are facing challenges of learning more and becoming more and doing more along the journey. Tip number five, embrace this precious presence. You want to be in the moment. Let me give you what I mean by that. Offer up prayers of thanksgiving, exercise, and meditate on the blessing that you're on a financial restorative track. That'll keep you moving forward. Tip number six, identify life changes that you know you need to make, like reducing um, some spending and don't Spend outside of what's within your financial bounds. Whatever is coming in is where you need to keep that active spending going. Tip number seven, practice personal forgiveness. I'm going to say that one again. <laughs> I had to do that. Practice personal uh, forgiveness. Just let go of the past mistakes that you've made. you got to forgive yourself because letting go of the past, if you don't do it, it's going to impede, going to impede the progress towards your uh, restorative journey. Tip number eight, give back. Some of us call it tithing. You may not have money to give, but you have your time. You've got your talents and you certainly have knowledge and skills that are very valuable. When's the last time somebody uh, came to you and said, oh, can you help me with this? Can you review this? So you want to offer those things. Just give back to your church, your community, an organization, whatever it might be. Tip number nine. We're almost there, you guys. Educate yourself. Read about credit cards. Learn about them. you got to know how to use them. Do you know anything about zero balances and what they mean? Do you know about, I'm sorry, not zero balances, but 0% interest rates, transferring credit card balances. 
what you do with that credit card can either haunt you or hurt you or help you. So you choose which one you want to be the outcome. And finally, tip number 10. Stay committed to you. Remember that you're on a financial journey of restoration. And it takes time. You didn't get to where you are uh, in, in, in needing help overnight. So guess what? The restorative track is not going to be completed o- overnight. Just stay true to you. Stay committed to your journey of restoration. And remember from Tony, always remain tenacious. <laughs>